We can't shut the door in 2018 just yet. Yeah, we have Decemberable Honorable Mentions to discuss. Thanks to comicbookinvest.com CBSI, we cover every single week the hot comics of the week. But every week, there's also two extra comic books that make the list that we don't discuss. The Honorable Mentions. And you know what? I think it's important that you're here for those videos because we have a lot of gold to discuss. Yeah, we absolutely do. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe and let's jump into some books. All right, starting off the list first, we have Science Comics number two making the list. I know this book very well. So this is a great book. This whole run is fantastic. Science Comics 2. Didn't um, you own one of these at one point? I did. I had this book um, just up to last year. I sold my copy. It was an 8.0 restored. It was a Burke copy. And it was a Larson pedigree. So I had a lot going for it on top of, you know, just the fantastic cover that it is by a great artist, Lou Fine. So this book has had some serious movement. Um, in 2013, it sold for 577 a 3.0 copy, unrestored. Oh my gosh, I wish you could find some of those copies that are unrestored for that price. That's crazy. Right. And as of just last week, at the end of the year of 2018, a 3.0 restored copy sold for $3,840. Talk about gains. Yeah. Serious gains. So these books are just well sought after. Number two is a little bit more rare than one, so it sells for more. And really probably one of the best books in that run of already amazing books. And wasn't there a really, really pristine copy that sold in like 2013? Yeah, I think a church copy sold a 9.2 for 33000 So, I mean, I can only imagine what a 9.2 would sell for now. I'd probably guess closer to like 55 to 60. Dang. Got to love that gold. Another comic book we got to give some love to because this one's been on the rise for a number of years now. Superman issue number 233. This is a classic cover. This is actually done by Neil Adams. So, First off, this is the main reason why this issue is driving prices. We have a classic Superman breaking chains cover, and it's written by Dennis O'Neill. All right. And this book is a minor key simply because of the cover, but the story itself is fantastic. We have Superman on the cover breaking chains, but inside we have a situation where the world finds all the kryptonite change to a different metal, changes to lead. And rather than kryptonite harming Superman, in this story, Superman becomes seemingly invincible. Because without kryptonite, you have an impenetrable Superman. Another cool little tidbit of information with this book, it's actually the first appearance of the Sand Superman. This is a creation that happens after this like explosion that happens, but... It's this whole back and forth of the Superman that's like a sand version drains the power of Superman. And it's this like dichotomy between them both and really how they ruin each other to the point where they both see that this world needs only one Superman. And you actually don't find this info out until the next issue. So this is actually a two-parter that that second issue 234 needs some love. Yeah, this is an absolutely iconic cover uh, for this time frame of books. So this is... Great to hear the interior story because I've never known any of that information. So a sand Superman, that sounds fantastic. I'd it's a pretty cool. That. It's a cool shot, too. We see prices for an 8.5 reach $350 this month, which is huge gains. This is a book that was going for like $15 to $50 for quite a long time in that grade range. Yeah, that's surprising to me because this book isn't like it's very rare, but it's just that iconic cover that Neil Adams just put out. And for this book to have 300 some odd dollars for an 85 is it's it's probably overdue for just the um, the attractive cover that it is exactly all right moving on we have another golden age classic authentic police cases issue number 7 now crime books jeff this is a this is a territory i'm not familiar with but i'm very interested yeah so this is going to be your 50s atomic age crime type genre and romance and again we have the artist that we've discussed a few times. Matt Baker, baby. Matt Baker. Heck yeah. We've talked about him and delved with him here and there in several videos because he's always pumping out great looking girl crime type scenarios. And he does it again here with this authentic police cases number seven. And this cover is pretty cool because it's got this gentleman with a gun holding this girl hostage by her arm on the floor with a red dress. But the, a part that I love most is this, this cop comes jumping through the window. He's a nobody. But he comes through this window like a badass cop, okay, and breaking the glass like he's Batman, 
Okay, and so you have these two cops coming in, and there's so much action in this scene that you're just like thrown into the into the book, and you love it because it's just drawn well. It's it's got energy, so it's a sweet book. And for this book, looking at sales, a CDC 8.0 sold last month for seventeen hundred dollars. Okay, and a raw fine plus sold this week for six hundred and sixty dollars. So, like most, if not all, Matt Bakers that have um, some type of female character on there, they're having very strong sales again all year long. These are books that guide for between like two to three hundred dollars in high grade. Yeah, the, the guide's way off again, yeah. but hopefully it'll catch up this year. But I'm guessing it won't. So the guide again will not reflect a majority of these books. It's a good thing that we're here to cover it, though. Yeah, now you know, so keep an eye out. All right, we have the next one on the list here. This is one of those variants that's just, it's growing up and up and up for one reason, Galactus. All right, we have ASM, volume number five, issue number 12, the Adi Granov variant, showing Galactus. As CBSI mentions this may be one of the best Galactus covers, especially for the modern age. As far as a Galactus cover goes, this may be one of the best Galactus covers of the modern era. I agree with CBSI there. Now, this book, we are seeing going from cover price to right around 10 bucks and more. It's going up. I think people are realizing now that this is one that they want in their collection. It's written by Nick Spencer, and the artist on the interior is Ryan Otley, who did Invincible, definitely one of my favorite artists of the modern age, and I know that's one of Ryan's favorite artists as well. Next on this list is Exposed Number 1, which again becomes a 1950s crime book but with a horror type cover because it's got a skeleton like figure on there. So this book, and like many in that time frame that have horror related covers, have been skyrocketing. And this is a number one issue, which really isn't say much at all about the book, but a lot of number ones have started to really heat up for horror specifically related. So this book, a 7.5, sold this week for $2,160. I mean, Guide is only 211 that's significantly different. Yeah, and so you could put this book in the same lines along the line of like Horror Tomb 1, Front Page Number 1, uh, Tormented 1. These are a lot of number ones that have just kind of started to really spike because you're really starting to see the rarity of these books and the collectability that people are starting to learn about. That's right. The more you learn about gold, the it's just like a whole new world of collecting. It's like it, a lot of the Silver Age collectors, as they start to approach the Golden Age, what they have a taste for changes they start liking the horror they start liking the writers and the artists and pretty soon you have books like this that are that are guiding for a few hundred bucks making the list at thousands of dollars it's fantastic so it means that more people are getting into collecting and the more they get into collecting the better because i want to see some love for all of these golden age books you know me i love that golden age all right moving on to another book that caused a stir this month sometimes error prints make the list other times they don't. We had a few era prints that hit in December that just went nowhere. Not this one. Winter Soldier Volume 2, issue number one. We have an error print version that made the shelves. And at first, it was like, hey, is this going to be a hot book? We had pages of Venom get included in this book by mistake. Now, at first, when CBSI covered this on the honorable mention, this book was only gone for 30 bucks or so. It ended up making the CBSI list later in the month. But you know what? We are now looking at 2019. What is this book going for? It's exceeded $100. We're seeing people watching listings where this is going for $130. All right. This is a book that we need to keep an eye out for. Not every error print is worth money. But you know what? When you got Venom getting included into a book, fans want it. They're hunting for it, and they're willing to pay a little bit more for it. Yeah, you know, we love things that are venomized. So when they're accidentally venomized in a way... There you go. It's a win. Winter Soldier got venomized. The, this may be the first appearance of the venomized Winter Soldier. Oh, my gosh. All right, here's, here's all the hate that's about to roll in. But side note, there was a Bill S. variant that definitely got overshadowed because of this error that happened. It's gorgeous. Shout out Bill S. We got him all behind me. So anyways, got to give love to that variant. As well as this next one, because we got Blue Bolt Weird Tales 119 making the list. I freaking love this run. This is a great run. Okay, it didn't all start off with like horror type. But L.B. Cole was the artist for all of it. You can tell L.B. Cole from a mile away. Yes, you could. Literally, literally if, you had, if you had some binoculars and you were a mile away and you could actually see it, you'd be like, oh, that's L.B. Cole. Absolutely. So this title kind of changed through 
Okay, it was mostly warplanes, then became a little bit of sci-fi, and then horror. And really, it turned hard right on horror. Like, yes. it went all horror. Absolutely. It went hard right horror, and very um, bright, vibrant, and striking covers, because that's LB Cole style. So you put that in a horror-type format, it You're pops. Done. Boom. And you this, need it. And I love LB Cole, but his work specifically in sci-fi horror is better than for me than his crime or his romance. So this also continued into ghostly weird stories. So you think you're done, but he goes a little further and they change the title because the title did change a little bit a couple times. And for another four or five issues, you have a 120 to 124, a continuation of this type of style. So a lot of the interior artwork and the stories were done by Jay Disbrow, who was very well known for doing just demons, monsters, and creature type scripts. Ghostly type Yeah, and he was a great, great artist. So he really added to a lot of these, especially between 110 and 119, which is the strongest horror portion of that run. Fantastic. And this book has seen quite a bit of games. Yeah, all these horror ones have. Anything LB Cole. Check out Mask 1 and 2, especially. Those books have been nuts. So some of the sales have been really strong, obviously, for all these horror type books for LB Cole. So um, 2017 had a 5.0 sale of this book. For two hundred and eighty bucks, but Whew. right low, and the guide was two hundred bucks on it. But just in December, closing out the year, that same five zero book sold for over eight hundred dollars. It's a great cover, and I'm excited to see some love for LB Cole. Sorry. Leonard Bernard Cole. Oh, love his right. comics. Not so much the name. Good to see LB Cole getting some love on this list. I'm excited to see what happens this year because they're all going up. Last book on the list. We actually have two of them. It's listed as one through CBSI, but really it's two comics, so you're getting a bonus here. We have New Avengers, issue number 11 and 27. The first appearance of Ronan, rather as Hawkeye as Ronan, and then first appearance of New Ronan. Both of these books making a splash this month because of the Avenger preview dropping. This is a character I think we need to be keeping an eye out for. I've been saying that all year. Russ has been saying it all year, too. I think that it has a promising attraction once the Avengers movie hits. We're going to have a character that's going to be a fan favorite across the board. Hawkeye's already really badass. They're about to make him even more badass. We have new costume designs reaching us in December. I think as we get closer to the movie, we're going to see new information drop different shots of Hawkeye. They're really trying to sell this new character. And if we see anything, you know, continue post Avengers four coming out with more Hawkeye stuff, Ronan stuff, I think we need to be keeping an eye out for more Ronan appearances besides these two keys. We saw prices at the start of December for these books in the 9.8 range, around 200 bucks. We're now seeing prices exceed 400. And as we get closer to the movie, I wouldn't be surprised to see them get closer to five. You'd have to think about it. Like if he's getting to this Ronan level, something's going to push him there. Okay. Cause he's got to get to the status of this Ronan where he's just a little more cold-blooded so we're going to get to see how his character develops into this next gen if you will of a hawkeye so it's going to be exciting to see and i can see strong gains with this book and interest level all right thank you so much to comicbookinvest.com cbsi for getting us all this information throughout the month so that we can compile it for the comic book fam this honorable mention list comes at you once a month i'm here with the golden age guru we do a lot of golden age talk with you jeff and i'm excited as we enter into 2019 for us to talk about some of these things that make the list i mean so far I, we have edgar church mile high pedigree um, we're talking about lb cole we got jay dispro i mean we have so much stuff here that deserves more conversation yeah we need to have a more in-depth show about individual topics and we will get there and i'm really excited to do that because it's stuff that needs to be heard it needs to be heard it needs to be understood and it just something needs to be shared that's right hit that like hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel we'd love to have you along for our ride into the new year happy new year happy holidays comic fam we have a lot of content for you to make and as always geek responsibly enough said shout out to johnny dropkicks who won our hack slash giveaway from last honorable mentions video hit the description to contact us and then we also have a giveaway for this month we have the greatest action comics covers in a hardback book comment down below what you think about the honorable mentions list what do you think about this video and let me know how your new year's went answer that in the comment section and next month we'll be giving this away